Greetings, Chris Fiola here with another edition of the Perfecting Equilibrium blog, New Jobs for a New Age. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to focus on uh, ChatGPT and uh, the new Google, I'm sorry, the new Bing uh, search with ChatGPT in the front end. And we're going to look at using those to write articles, write blog posts, or to assist in those tasks. Now, I'm breaking this into a couple ones because uh, <clears throat> some of my <clears throat> friends have mentioned <laughs> that uh, it roughly takes me 500 words to clear my throat. And these 15-minute uh, uh, videos I've been doing are a wee bit long for the age of TikTok. So we're going to cut this down. Now, today's is going to be fairly brief, too, because there's going to be some reading involved in it. So we're going to start by putting ChatGPT to the sort of uh, ultimate can you replace a blogger, journalist, writer test. So we're going to ask it to write an article from scratch and just see what it does. Write a 750 word blog post about the riots against the introduction of the e Naria and their impact on the rollout of central bank digital currencies worldwide. Now, there's a couple things about this prompt that I've given it. One, I'm sort of cheating. I wrote an article roughly that, well, I guess it was closer to a thousand words, but give or take, and published it this past Tuesday. And so I have a pretty good idea of what the result should be. But uh, that's the eyeball test. That's predict the past. That's give a new algorithm a chance to work with known data and see if it produces and matches the known results. So we're going to see how it does against uh, the research that I did in the article that I wrote previously. Second, I've sort of also tried to give it a few stumbling blocks here. So I've put in uh, very specific keywords like e Naria without uh, mentioning, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way, without mentioning that that is the new Nigerian central bank digital currency. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to read you this entire article in the interest, again, of not putting out uh, uh, videos that are hours and hours to watch. <laughs> um, but I will say that it's, it's okay. Uh, it's not very good, though, for a couple of reasons. One is I did try to give it a help by, give it some help by pointing it at uh, its strength, which is to summarize uh, things that are already out there. So an update on the Inaria is merely asking it to go and gather search, as it were, uh, different articles out of the news feeds and put them together into a summary. That said, it keeps saying the riots in Nigeria raise concerns. It's whether through the choices that its programmers made, it, it it doesn't have a point of view. It doesn't take a strong point. And it really doesn't end up saying much except there are riots and riots are concerning. Well, there's a newsflash. But the other part is that there's no references to where any of this came from here. So uh, you should judge for yourself, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put below this transcript this entire article so you can read it. I'll also put back a link to the article that uh, I ran last Tuesday about the same subject. And then we can uh, compare and contrast. Now the other one also, because that's the way I work, has links in it to uh, original source material showing you where it was from. And so you can judge the accuracy of both articles uh, based on those sources. Uh, next week, what we'll do is we will use the uh, new AI-based Bing search in a way that I think is more appropriate, which is to uh, use these sorts of summaries in small fashion, paragraph maybe two, uh, to bolster uh, background in, article, in articles and uh, bolster your arguments with uh, notes from the past. That is a look at writing a blog post with ChatGPT. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, please subscribe and uh, feel out.